This is Joe Pugh for the Boxing Voice. Three days in a row, Eddie. Joined. Eddie, how are you, Eddie? I'm good, mate. Two minutes this time. You're about to start the way in. We'll get through it very, very quickly then. So, big double header for you. Bill Barrow tonight. London tomorrow. Give me the sell. Yeah, obviously tonight, Leharaja against Metcalf. Brilliant fight. Both guys in tremendous shape. I think it's a 50-50. You know, Leharaj has been down a couple of times, saw the fight with Jez Smith. Metcalf is a beast, um, always in great fights. It's going to be a great atmosphere tonight. And tomorrow, a massive card at the O2, headlined by Joshua Boazzi against Craig Richards. You know, the Battle of Crystal Palace, but also the Battle of London and Britain. And, of course, big fight on the world level as well. And the winner becoming mandatory to Dimitri Bivol. Fantastic. And, obviously, with that Bivol thing, we're not quite sure whether Canelo will fight him next. Do you genuinely believe that if Canelo chooses to fight Triple G in a trilogy fight, the winner of this fight will fight Bevel next? I think, you know, look, obviously, if Canelo Alvarez ends up fighting Triple G and then Bivol, Bivol's going to need an interim fight. And there's no one we'd like more to, to fight him than the winner of this fight, or maybe even Callum Smith as well. So we're in a good position for that, but we'll see what Canelo Alvarez decides. There's been a lot of questions asked to you this week about kind of the, the success of the zone. Why do you think that is? I, because there's a lot of people who have agendas in boxing. So all I can tell you is the success of the zone is fantastic, particularly in America now after really finding their feet. The pay-per-view numbers were huge on Canelo. Subscription numbers are huge. We had a great start here as well. We've got some huge fights to be announced this summer and beyond as well. We're in a great position. And, you know, I just think that people like to sort of... Uh, I see shows getting announced that I read the reactions and it's like, wow, great show. And I'm like, if I did that show, I'd be absolutely crucified. But when you're at the top, you've got to expect, everyone expects every time that you deliver. And the pressure's always on to deliver. And I love that. I wouldn't want it any other way. So we're very happy with the global growth of the zone. They're the best platform in boxing globally, bar none. And um, massive things coming. Huge fights planned for the summer. September and a uh, more global expansion. I saw comments from AJ yesterday about this is the first camp where he's really implemented real tactics. What did you make of those comments? Because surely a fight in the likes of Klitschko and beyond, you'd have to uh, use some tactics with McCracken. Yeah, no, I think they've always had tactics. It's just, I guess, how much you believe in those tactics. You know, I feel like in the Usyk fight that he made a, his own decision at times to prove people wrong by outboxing him. And it's not that he can't box with Alexander Usyk, but he should use other attributes, in my opinion, to beat him. And that's what he'll look to do in this fight. So I believe he'll get it right, and I believe he'll beat Alexander Usyk. You hadn't yet seen the video of Tyson Fury when I spoke to you yesterday. I'm sure you've seen it now. What did you make of it? Not a lot. I mean, you know, he, he was, I don't even think he kicked the taxi, but he'd obviously had a few beers. He didn't look like he was standing too well. But let the bloke enjoy himself. He's just had a long camp. He's world heavyweight champion. Unfortunately, in the world we live in today... Everything's scrutinised, but, you know, I'm sure, uh, I'm, not, I'm sure no harm was done. And your comments get Billy Joe Saunders get making back out. We know your relationship was kind of rocky in the lead-up to the Canelo fight. Is that sorted now? I think so. I think we've done a great job for Billy Joe Saunders. You know, got him, made him a lot of money, got him the biggest fight in boxing, and we always delivered what we promised. So hopefully we can uh, deliver him another fight. I love the John Ryder fight, but there's a lot of other fights out there as well, and we'll continue those discussions and see what happens. And finally, Eddie, prediction for tomorrow night? I think it's a 50-50 fight. You know, I think uh, Boazzi perhaps is, is the favourite in terms of the, the bigger audience because of the hype, and he's a fantastic fighter. But if Craig believes in himself, which I really think he does now, I think it's going to be a very close fight. Brilliant. Eddie, thank you very much. Cheers.